Yeah, and this bloke, he even was in the SS actually. And, um, and then he did sort of being on the other side and he spent the whole war in England like doing like, well, we are victims of the whole thing. Yeah. And this guy, he uh, set up the Bilderbergs after the war, which is actually a thing which exists already like thousands of years. But under other names, they, they change names through history, they change jackets, they change collars, they change flags and false, false flags, etc. And Switzerland is their biggest base actually. So uh, he called, of course, this hotel with the German name in a country where there are no mountains. He called this place Bilderberg. And of course, uh, it was his hotel. It belonged to them. I mean, he was the only German around, you know. So uh, no, no Dutchman will call it uh, Bilderberg because it's two entirely non-Dutch names. Actually, I'm South African and I understand Afrikaans and I know, which is like old Dutch, and I know there's no, um, there's no names of this tie like in Afrikaans. Yeah. So, okay, I'll give you a closer look at the link of this um, of this um, article, which was in the in the newspaper 20 minutes uh, a couple of days ago. It was on um, on July 28th. And maybe uh, it came in the next day because um, this is online and it says 22.50 in the night. Yeah. So, there we go. I zoom in. Oh, I just, yeah, okay. Just a minute, I'll be back. Okay, there we are. So, this is the text here. So anybody who reads German can read it. I have to do it like this because I'm a... I'm a complete, you know, know how, no, nobody with the, with the internet. I'm the older, like, you know, it's not my generation who grew up with it. So this is the link here. This is the link in German, so anybody can take it out. You know, it says, uh, yeah, every second Swiss has the uh, pharaoh geneti uh, genetics so this is uh, the uh, Tutankhamun King Tut and here it says uh, she wrote the article and it was actually me who gave the information in the first place to these uh, DNA testers uh, they did a good job you see July 28th and uh, yeah and this is the name of the newspaper it's called 20 minutes I think it's uh, originally Swedish as far as I heard there is again the link so there's the article anybody who wants to read it okay so I'll make a quick break and uh, I think it's about seven o'clock now and later on so 1900 hours later on I'm going to uh, I'm going to film how the Swiss celebrate the murder of the Europeans and their children and how they put women on the stakes they're gonna burn a very very large stake and actually this is only a little village and they do it in every little village and the big towns the stakes are even bigger and they celebrate with beer and wine and uh, as these people are still you know like uh, financing wars all over right okay so this is where the offspring of King Tut lives in the base at their bases well this is uh switzerland all right so this is where they shoot they got their shooting range here every week they shoot in every village they're preparing in every village so 
This is where they shoot from in this village, which is called Berriswil. It's next to uh, next to Bern. So here they're celebrating the murder on the Europeans and their kids. This is the stake. They're going to burn it. You see. I'm going a bit nearer maybe from the other side. It's very dangerous to get nearer with all the uh, the murder threats I'm having of these uh, very dangerous people, very organized, highly organized. So I'm trying to get nearer. I hope they're not, uh, well, I don't give a fuck. Just look how they're looking. Look how they're looking. Look at it. The criminals. Look at it. Yeah, they're staring them. So here they're celebrating the murder on the Europeans. This is Middle Ages. There's some guards all over. Look how he's staring. Look at him. Look how mean he looks. Before they were all staring. Look at it. Oh man. Look at that looking. Especially if you turn around, then they start looking. Look. Look. Especially if you turn around. Then they start looking at you. So this is the stake. Here they symbolically burn the Europeans. Now they suck out their countries economically. And of course the tree is symbolic of a phallic symbol, their obelisk. And one of those two Swiss are pharaohs. Why well, they leave the branches on on top. Wow, are they shooting at me? Oh, look, I'm shaking, look. And remember that burning the witches was a Swiss idea. The witch's hammer was written by two Swiss. So there it is from the other side. There they are, these criminals. There they are. Sucking out the US economy through their banking system. They're still watching. Both of them, look at it. Look at it. It's like taxes. Yeah. And they suck out Germany's economy. They destabilized. Spain and Greece economically, economically. So here they are. These are the ones that did it. And they did 9-11, folks. They did it. They destabilized the Arab economic world throughout the American attacks, attacks on the Arab world. And they got an enormous profit out of it. I mean, just see it. Look at it. I mean, uh, the banking collapse was after 9-11. It's, it's a direct result of it. Yeah, so there they are, They're celebrating the murder of the Europeans and their children. And later on they're gonna burn, they're gonna light up the stake. Before was the national anthem. I missed it, thank God. And uh, yeah. So they're going to light it soon. And they know what they are celebrating. They definitely know it. In this country, people are being, foreigners are being portrayed as black sheep, black rats. Uh, yeah, snakes and, and black monkeys, etc. They're very, very racist. It's the same thing we could see in the 30th in Germany with the with what they did with the Jewish people and uh, the Hebrew people. And in 2001, there were five Nazis that forced themselves into the house where we were, and they said, "I shouldn't do anything against Switzerland anymore. Don't write any more newspapers, uh, articles in the newspapers, but you sh I should write against the Jewish people." I don't have any problem with Jewish people. I have some Jewish friends even, Mr. Zilberman in Geneva. And they said, if you don't, you're never gonna see your child, your son anymore. 
So then they kidnapped him in 2001. I never saw him again. I don't know if he's alive. My son Myron. Myron. Uh, I don't think he's alive anymore. And uh, yeah. So they said you're never going to see your son anymore unless you write against the Hebrew people, against the Jews. Then I asked for help. The Jewish community, nobody helped. Well, I understand it, you know, these people have so many worries, they, they have no time to help, you know. Well, well they're, they're gonna light it. 1st of August in Switzerland. Two and a half months after the uh, the fall of uh, Aachen. Here they are, the Templars, the Crusaders. And they're burning the European women, the witches. Actually, the witches are burning the good women. And they burned the Jews as well. They financed it with the Swiss banks. And they financed the burning of the witches. They financed the destruction of the Europeans and they were not in the 30-year war and they were not in the first world war they were not in the second world war none of them and now they're gonna booze and celebrate through invisible means with their Swiss banks they suck out the US economy The mother of all evil, the sisters of Isis. Um, boy, are they racist. I mean, look at it, the Americans, where did they come from? You know, the settlers. Uh, it's just a shift of power. You have to look first, who financed and who did all the wars in Europe they were the Swiss Templars and the their mercenaries so of course it's them who already had all the power in Europe who created the US and took over all the power in the US I mean, look at Europe first, and then you understand who's having all the power in America. And look at the Windsors, I mean, the whole world, all the, the nobility and the, uh, the whole world is having all their money here, all the pharaohs, all the kings, all the drug dealers, and they all celebrate, they, you know, they all go skiing in Switzerland in St. Moritz and Stadt and you know, the rulers of the world. And this is where the people in a small village and they do it now in all villages in Switzerland. Thousands of villages, they're symbolically burning the Europeans what they actually did and they burned the Jews as well. They like burning they like burning. Oh man, look at it. This is Auschwitz, man. Look at it. This is Auschwitz. I mean, where else do they do this? This is Switzerland. And look at it now, how racist they are, you know. And, and they try to, uh, to light the fire, the racist fire all over Europe. Because the Swiss are the heroes now, you know, with their initiatives, you know, their, their sort of democracy.